schwarze Internetkabel bitte. I wanted to do something where uh, sound and, and vision is uh, very tightly integrated. What kind of technical framework can I actually build to allow me to improvise with lasers like an instrument? I want to risk something. I want to be in a position where I can make mistakes. Because only if I risk something, something new happens. What you see here, those two computers and the MIDI controllers are really the tactile and, and visual part of this idea. What I would do with the lasers is much closer to something which is related to modular synthesis. Every little detail becomes an important part of the overall experience. And this is something which again reflects back to how I think about music in general. I'm not interested in doing music where a lot of things happening at the same time, but I'd rather like to explore a little detail and shape the attention towards the detail. So we have the one computer which is basically the main sequencer, where also the MIDI controllers are connected to, and the data from this computer is sent out via OSC to the other two computers, and those two computers run the, the synthesizers for creating the shapes on the lasers. I use the launch pad to, to trigger clips. It's all based on session clips in live. There's four tracks um, with, with sounds which are a, a basic rhythm section of a bass drum, maybe a snare, maybe some hi-hat, maybe some other sound. Then there's one track which actually controls all the visual patterns. What I'm trying to achieve sonically here is, is a blend between very classical drum sounds and the sounds which are created by the lasers. The, the, the shapes are the equivalent of a sound. So let's assume a circle is the equivalent of a bass drum and a cross is the equivalent of a snare. So this part here is the synthesizer for creating the shape. Um, and this part here is the sequencer for it. I, I have a Max for Life device, which basically acts as a huge collection of shapes. So each, each of those patterns here has a shape. This one draws a circle, which gets bigger. This one draws the small, flashy structure in the middle. This one draws the circle, which has this interesting dots going on. So this is all the equivalent to, to, to sounds. Uh, this is a specific sound. And each of those sounds can be bind to a MIDI node. I, I simply create a MIDI clip which plays those sounds. So let's create just a new MIDI clip here. And turn on follow clip. So I'm just changing the MIDI node here now. I could play this on a MIDI keyboard actually. That doesn't seem to be dangerous and it doesn't feel like it's dangerous. But if I go here, it's already getting quite, quite warm on my fingers. And if I get closer, the energy is concentrated on a smaller surface. Let's say I make a circle with the size of zero. All the energy is concentrated on this small spot and this is actually quite hot. So I, I could set a curtain on fire in, in 20 meters distance if I do it wrong. It's as much a research project for me as anything else. I expect things to be much different in, in five years. I feel I'm, I'm really at the very beginning. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, 
are ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.